I feel like I didn't make Curves the book. Curves the book made itself happen through me. What inspired me to create Curves was that I knew so many amazing women who had very powerful body image stories and I wanted to share them with the world and I had the means to do it so it just felt like the perfect thing to do. The thing that inspires me the most about being a part of this project is helping women to feel empowered and to embrace their curves and to not have to apologize for being the way that they are. To me, it's 70 women that are all so different and then so similar at the same time. There are all women in search of their love to their bodies and to their beauty and to their inner peace. 80% of women and girls are unhappy with their bodies and have a negative self-esteem. I can remember the moment that I became insecure as well as the moment that it started to change. Um, my sister was in town visiting. And she said to me at one point when I was walking away, because I said I felt fat, and she said, do you realize how many times you say out loud you're fat, or you feel fat, or you look fat, or do I look fat? I have been modeling for a long time, and I know that I've never been maybe exactly what an agency might want. You know, it's, it's always, oh, how about an inch there, an inch there, and it's really not about that. It's about your personality, it's about so much more than just your specific measurements. Body confidence is self-love. Self-love is body confidence. Um, you need both. The idea of making a collection of images of women of all shapes and sizes and having them share their stories was something that I have thought about doing for a while. I had no funding, no plan, and no experience in book publishing. My dear friends helped me run a Kickstarter to help raise funds and frankly, to me that was a test to whenever or not people would be interested in this project. To my surprise, the project got funded in less than a month. I received such an overwhelming response and so much support to help me make this book. I feel like the fashion world is changing right now and this is a wonderful change because uh, the brands out there and the magazines are starting to accept a diverse type of beauty so we're living in a wonderful age. I wasn't doing the right things, I actually wasn't eating enough and I was over exercising and all these things and once I stopped doing that and gained the self love and the body confidence, that's how I became the size that I feel the best at. But it's about loving yourself enough to not have to change just because somebody tells you, okay, you need to change in order to accomplish this. No. In the past few years, I created a few body image awareness campaigns that mostly featured new plus size models. And a lot of times people misuse those images and put slogans on them that I didn't necessarily agree with. If you tell yourself something, something enough times, you're eventually going to believe it. And so I, I started by stopping talking so negatively to myself and starting more positive talk with myself. The beauty is in diversity, that everybody is different. Bigger is good, smaller is good. As long as it's healthy, that's really wonderful. Plus, I wanted the models to talk for themselves about what they think about their own beauty, what it is like for them to be pursued as beautiful or to find their way to beauty. All of the models in the book chose how they wanted to be portrayed. For instance, Chelsea wanted to have the writings on her. She wanted her body to tell a story. Or Sarah Diana is a golden girl, so she had gold glitter all over her body. Or Josette Limbari, who was shot like a Greek goddess. She's wearing like this blue fabric on her. Natalia Barulic. She used to be a ballerina and she wanted to be in a ballerina pose. Jillian Mercado was also an amazing photo shoot. We wanted to shoot her nude in her wheelchair and she came up with a concept. She was like, remember Godzilla? Like when he was holding a girl in his arm, I want to lay like this in the chair. So we tried to place her accordingly. Another amazing story that I loved photographing was Amanda Lepore. She just said that she always wanted to be a girl. I feel like it's not my book, it's their book. And every page belongs to a certain model, a certain person, a certain story, a certain image. No matter your size, no matter what your occupation is, it's a very empowering, inspiring message and I am very grateful to be a part of it. I like spreading the message of women accepting their bodies the way they are. I believe, you know, so many women are insecure, you know, about their cellulite or maybe they're not as thin and they don't realize that when you look in a magazine, most of the stuff is photoshopped or is great lighting, is great makeup, hair. 
To me, body confidence and self-love isn't about being a particular measurement or looking the way that you think you see that photoshopped girl in the magazine is. It's about being happy with all of the great attributes that make you you. Is that you're funny and that you're smart and that you're sensual. I want to be as healthy as I possibly can be. I think that people can make changes to their body and be confident in, in the way they are in healthy ways. It could, it's okay if you're unhappy with your body at some point, but if you want to make changes to it, it should be because you love your body and because you want to be healthier. No matter what, you know, we live in a crazy world, so many things are going on, but the most important thing is loving your body, loving yourself, and bringing the sexy, confident woman that you really are, because every woman is gorgeous in her own way. So reminding yourself of all of your positive qualities makes you more confident. And that's, that's the key to being happy and having body confidence and self-confidence and self-love. I'm so thankful to all the women who were brave enough to share their stories and for giving me permission to publish their nude or semi-nude photographs.